Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're well today. I have a little tip today. It's uh, pretty simple, but it might come in handy for you. So if you're in After Effects, you know that um, if you have a 2D plane and you do some rotation or camera movement, it looks very flat. Well, if you right click on your layer and you go to Transform, uh, you might know about this Auto Orient option. And if we click that, we have a few options. It's off by default, but we can also orient it towards the camera. And if we do that, it's gonna take that 2D layer and face it at the camera no matter which way you rotate the camera around. And that's a good way to sell a 2D image in a 3D space. Um, you can also do this in Cinema 4D with a tag. So if we go to Cinema 4D tags, there is this look at camera tag. If we click that, we have that results uh, instantly in one click. So you can get some really interesting results this way. So if you look at this image, it looks incredibly flat and it kind of ruins the effect of 3D. Um, so what you can do is go to your tags and click on look at camera. Now if you're using a plane, it's gonna disappear. That's because the orientation is wrong and we can't actually move this plane right now. So a little workaround is to hit Alt or Option G and that's gonna put it in a null. And then we'll just drag that tag up onto the null and now we can uh, rotate that, that plane. So we'll flip that 90 and now the effect is working. So you can see that it's uh, looking at the camera and obviously if we uh, do such an extreme move, it's not gonna look as good. But if you're doing a little bit more of a subtle move like this, it's really going to hide the fact that it's 2D and that's gonna help if you're doing architectural type visualization, if you have trees in the foreground little 2D trees, or if you have uh, little people kind of standing there or cars in the parking lot, you can get away with a lot just by doing that. So anyway, that's what this look at camera tag does. Hope that you find that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixlab. Talk to you next time.